private aspect of the development will be managed by Carter and our joint venture partners, Oakwood Development and Healy Weatherholz. We will be focused on creating a vibrant, active, uh, mixed-use environment that uh, involves commercial, residential, um, retail, uh, and various entertainment-related uses. And Georgia State University will be involved in renovating uh, what is now known as Turner Field and then ultimately building a baseball park back at the former footprint of Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. And as you fast forward and you think of the sports history and the legacy there, uh, with uh, that property was uh, utilized to uh, bring the Milwaukee Braves to the city of Atlanta. The property was utilized to uh, um, uh, bring the Atlanta Falcons and Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. And then everyone knows the rich history of the Centennial Olympic Games. Uh, at uh, the Centennial Olympic Stadium, which uh, was then converted to Turner Field for baseball. So when you combine the, the rich social and the history of, of sports on that site, and we think it's incredibly important to be very respectful and thoughtful of celebrating that legacy, doing what we can to preserve that legacy, and we think it's a, a very rich part of the story and of our redevelopment efforts going forward. As we went through the, the transaction, the Olympic Cauldron and the Rings, which are located on Hank Aaron Drive at Fulton Street, are owned by uh, Georgia State University in the state of Georgia. They were transferred through the Rec Authority to the university. And, and so they are the, the fee simple owner of that. We had contemplated really trying to utilize that uh, strong symbolic structure as a gateway into the project because it really helps uh, people understand that they have arrived at a place that's special. And, and so we have a number of plans that we are still contemplating around uh, creating a, a small park in that area, with really enhancing that area with some green space and some water features so that uh, you know we really allow that to be more of a destination than something where people are just coming and going but uh, we, we hope that we can again really make that a strong symbol and a gateway into the community because there's great pride in the community around uh, the structure and not only you know what it uh, what it is but what it stands for so we will be very thoughtful uh, and deliberate and respectful when it comes to any sort of involvement uh, or reference to uh, the Olympics and to the IOC and so we're very early on in all of our planning and, and as a part of our due diligence and a part of, of our uh, planning efforts, we'll make sure that, that we're in sync and, 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 and keeping with the, uh, the thoughts and, and manner that, that all of those associated with Olympic Games and the Olympic movement, uh, we'll make sure we do the right thing.